Hi, I'm Andy, physiotherapist at Eleanor Hospice in Kent. We're working in partnership with Together TV to raise the profile of the great work hospices are doing all around the country, even at this time of crisis. I don't know about you, but during this lockdown period, I'm finding myself spending a lot more time in the garden, and more specifically, doing gardening. And I'm not even much of a gardener. However, after a long day toiling with a shovel or a spade, I find that my back can be quite achy. So what I'd like to do is give you some tips about how best to look after your back and show you some stretches you can do after a long day working outside. First of all, if we think about using the right muscles when we are bending down and lifting, we want to use the big muscles in our body, our thighs and our bottom muscles. So if I'm picking something up, I really want to try and bend at the knees and hips get down to what I'm picking up and lifting it up by straightening those legs. That way we avoid too much twisting or bending which can put a lot of pressure on our spine. Working at a raised level is also a great thing to do. So if you struggle to bend down, try doing some gardening in pot plants or on a raised bed or on a table and that way you can still enjoy gardening. Make sure you keep yourself hydrated it's really important to make sure that you've got fluids on board as this helps to support the spine and make movements more comfortable for you. If you are spending time kneeling down, it's always good to have knee pads on or there's some kneelers which you can get which make things more comfortable for you and even just having some soft foam padding can make life a little bit easier. If you are finding that your back's getting sore, you can always try and use tools that are slightly adjustable. So longer handled tools such as this rake are great for being able to still do the job you want to do without having to bend down anywhere near as much. Now, of course, there will come times where you have to dig or you have to bend down. So how best do we do that? Well, if you are bending, again, use the knees and use the hips and try and keep your back fairly straight. It's okay for the back to bend a little bit but try and avoid twisting motions too much um, as that's the thing that really puts your back under a lot of strain. Let's look at some exercises that you can do to stretch your back after that long day of gardening. The first one we're gonna do is we're just gonna stretch backwards. So pop your hands on the back of your hips, lean yourself forwards and push and hold that stretch for about five seconds and then come forwards. So it's a gentle pressure, looking up to the sky, hold that stretch, and then relax off. Now, in upright, we're still loading our spine, so actually, it's even better to do these kind of stretches in lying. If you have trouble getting down onto the floor or getting back up from the floor, then go and do these exercises on your bed so that you don't have those issues. So if we look at coming down onto the ground and if we're lying on our front here we want to push ourselves up onto our elbows and if you can push yourselves up onto straight hands and really stretch that back up what's quite nice actually is if you have a prolonged stretch in this position it's a nice position to lay in the garden maybe read a book while you're doing it it's a good opportunity to just catch up on any work emails or catch up with friends via FaceTime while you're still enjoying the outdoors. Flip over onto your back, and then we're gonna look at some rolls. So bend your knees up, and you're just gonna bring your legs over to one side, hold that stretch there, and then back, and then roll your knees over again, hold that stretch there, and back again. So you're just rolling, and stretching and if you want to make that stretch a little bit more vigorous you can straighten one leg roll the leg over and then with this hand just add a little bit more pressure pushing the knee down towards the ground for an added stretch make it as vigorous as you want to give yourself as much of a stretch as you like okay then we also want to stretch out the muscles in the front of our hips. So again, bend your knees up, and this time we're just gonna try and bridge forward. So we're lifting our bottom up nice and high, hold that stretch, and then come down again. 
These stretches just need to be held for about five seconds and come down again. Nice controlled movements that should just allow you to stretch out nicely. And that's quite a simple, quick and easy way of just doing stretches once you've done a little bit of gardening. Makes the gardening experience that little bit more comfortable for the next day. I've been Andy and this has been your gardening tips.